have you ever passed out? Like literally passed out and write in the comments if you have, but I also want you to write if you could tell that you were going to pass out. You know, sometimes when we get ready to pass out or faint, we may experience some symptoms beforehand. We often call this a prodrome. Things like a dizziness or lightheadedness or maybe a feeling of being out of body like an out of body experience. Some people get nausea or their eyes, like they, their vision starts to get like tunnel vision. They get see black or white um, or and they get cold and clammy. I know this has happened to me and I can often tell when I'm going to have a problem because I will get cold and clammy. I'll start feeling unsteady and almost like having this out of body experience. Again, write in the comments. Fainting or passing out, there are a number of different causes or potential causes of fainting and passing out. Oftentimes when we think of fainting, passing out, or really in this video, I'm talking about sort of a transient loss of consciousness where you pass out, you lose consciousness, it's very quick and you know, you regain that consciousness, okay? Understand that any level of loss of consciousness needs to be evaluated uh, emergently by a physician. That's the ER, etc. Okay, I'm just going to say that top of mind. I don't want you to get any ideas that you should be dealing with this on your own. But let me just talk a little bit about causes of transient loss of consciousness because a lot of patients will come to me after they have passed out and they didn't go to the ER, which I wish they would have, but they'll come in to me later. And I'm going to tell you a few things I need you to do. Um, you should go to the ER, but if you don't, I need you to keep track of what was going on around the time you passed out. See, a lot of times our ability to determine what's wrong or what happened depends on the story you're able to give us. So let me illustrate this. Causes of fainting or passing out, like transient loss of consciousness can range from a number of things. Oftentimes we don't even figure out what the problem is or why, but a big cause is um, a decrease in blood pressure. That can happen, say, if we uh, go from a sitting to a standing position, like abruptly. It can happen if we're like in a hot environment. You know, you oftentimes think about, um, you've thought about like some of the security guards at like Buckingham Palace. Every now and then one of them will pass out or faint um, from standing too long in the heat, that type of thing. Um, sometimes emotional responses and fear and things like that can actually evoke uh, passing out. I have a friend who whenever you talk, well, we don't talk about blood around her, but if you talk about blood around her, um, she's actually passed out in front of me after a discussion that involved blood because it evoked this emotional response and fear that she had. Also, um, pain as well. Like some people fear like uh, getting their blood drawn and things like that and having pain. So that can trigger um, also uh, sort of a, a, a response. There's also situational causes of loss of consciousness. Some people lose consciousness or pass out when they pee when they poop, like when they bear down, or when they cough or sneeze, some people even when they're stretching. And there is some, there are some people that like, if their carotid um, sinus gets sort of um, manipulated, like even like a tight collar or turning their neck can stimulate passing out. Now, I'm not trying to minimize any of these, all of these are really big deals. And this is, but this is why the history is important, just understanding all the things that can happen. The other thing I would say too is, you know, our heart can do a number on us. If your heart is being beating super, super slow or super, super fast, or if it's beating irregularly, that can cause you to pass out or lose consciousness. Also things going on in your brain. But it's not just those things, right? It can actually be other stuff. Um, psychiatric conditions or states can cause us to lose consciousness. Seizures can do that. Um, blo blood sugar being low. The list goes on and on and on and on. You know, I have a video on, um, you know, what's causing your dizziness, okay? That's also a condition that is similar to like loss of consciousness to me, transient loss of consciousness, because they're the differential diagnosis, which means the things it could be is so, 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 so big. I'm gonna link that video here. If you're watching on Facebook, let me know if you'd like that video, um, just write in the comments. But the point being is the biggest thing is you getting medical care right away, but also doing your best to recall what happened before the loss of consciousness because that's gonna help us tremendously. Remember, if you lose consciousness, you're gonna need testing, very likely heart testing, um, brain testing perhaps, et cetera, to see what's going on. And again, oftentimes we don't even figure out the cause. But write in the comments, have you ever lost consciousness? Have you ever fainted? what's going on. I'm Dr. Jen. It's good to see you. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Um, click the little bell for updates. I'm on Facebook. Please like and follow my page. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, threads, you name it. And also please sign up for my daily health newsletter at drjencoddle.com. Weekly health newsletter, not daily, weekly. All right, guys.